wouldn't I? You've collected enough thunder eggs to power the machine. L let's give it a go, shall we? Outstanding! Simply outstanding! The energy levels are off the scale, and, and, and... Yes, yes, I've got a lock on one of the talismans. Stand back, Ty. It's coming through. And then the game just kind of immediately drops us face to face with this enormous thing. I know you've seen boss fights similar to this one. This bull is big and stupid, so we stand in front of a pillar in the hopes that he'll run into it. But he's slightly less stupid than other bosses like him. He's able to stop very quickly. Even if he hits a pillar as he stops, it won't count. He has to hit it full speed. Brace your ears. Another feature that sets this boss apart from others like him is that he's capable of turning on a dime. As you can see, he just completely drifted around that pillar. And after we trick him a couple times, he goes into a second phase where he stomps the ground to send out a shockwave. Fortunately, it's very easy to jump over. Obviously though, the best method to avoid it is simply to get far enough that it can't reach you at all. Now in addition to the shockwaves, he's going to send out boulders that home in on our position when he hurls them. This is the boss's way of trying to get us to stop camping around the pillars, but we can easily circumvent his attack. He does start to charge immediately after he throws them, so it can be easy to get caught off guard. That time I was simply overzealous to do damage to him, so I put Ty in a position where he couldn't turn around quickly enough. So the thing with this guy as a whole is, although his boss fight is basically one big video game cliche, he has little nuances that make it more difficult than you'd expect. Those being his anti-camping attack, his surprising maneuverability, and his overwhelming size, which makes it easy to get hit, even when you think you're safe. Also, if you can't get behind a pillar when he starts charging, you're just kind of screwed. I wouldn't call this guy an outright deconstruction of this kind of boss or anything, but Chrome was definitely genre savvy when they made him. Well done, Ty. You've retrieved the first of the ancient talismans. When Boss Cass discovers that we're out to thwart his plans, he will do all in his power to stop you. Be careful, my friend. She'll be right, old timer. Shock me lucky you actually found the talisman. I just might have bet on the wrong horse. Anyway, mate, Julius has got a present for you at his lab. I've made <laughs> a most exciting discovery. The talisman machine is brimming with excess energy from the fire thunder eggs. By diverting that energy to my special hyper techno boomerang maker, I can make special elemental rangs. Watch. Simply smashing, I present to you the flamerang. You beauty! Yes, yes, this ring can start fires and melt ice. It even has a more powerful effect on some enemies. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. It will aid you well in your quest. Now, go try it out.
So the flamer rings are just rings that are kind of uh, permanently on fire. And when Julius says they're more effective against some enemies, he means a lot of enemies, but we'll see that soon enough. For now, we're going to do some more exploration of the overworld to find us some rainbow scales and figure out exactly where we're supposed to go next, because Bly Bly Station is all tapped out. Don't get too excited when I say overworld exploration, because although we do have to find out where to go next, it's nowhere near the level of exploration in the actual stages. I mean, we can probably assume there's something in this cave shaped suspiciously like a Tasmanian tiger head. The rainbow scales basically serve the purpose of making the overworld seem larger and more intricate than it actually is, and they do a pretty decent job of that. He's smarter than I thought. Did you hear that? We're fair dinkum geniuses, and we've got three new worlds to explore, but first let's talk to Julius. I imagine we shall do quite well here, because it's a perfect focal point for the talisman machine. Is that so? Well, let us have a look at that. <laughs> 